Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at the Kaiser Cozy. Um, yeah, pretty interesting knife. So let's just get right into this, and let's start off with our blade length measurement. We're coming in here, I mean, just a hair over three and a quarter, so like 3.3. .3. I think that's a really good size. That's a fantastic size for an EC knife. And uh, yeah, this is a, a theme through this, this review, spoiler alert, will be um, great EDC. So, yeah. Uh, here's our rat. There is the two. And the uno. There we go. Good, good size. Let's go ahead and compare against our Savivis. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. I normally don't say Savivi. Savivi. But whatever I did that time. Praxis, Elementum, kind of an in-between size. Let's get out our EM2 and our bug out. Very similar in size to the bug out. Actually, I think the bug out's a pretty good uh, comparison uh, for this knife. All right, and let's compare it against Another Kaiser that I have here, the Kaiser Elementum. Oh, I mean big lighter. So there we go. Okay, awesome. What are we looking at here? Well, this is there's two different versions of, versions of this knife. There's this one, and then there's the murdered out version that has black G10, black blade. This is their natural micarta, um, 154cm satin finish. This is a knife I'm borrowing from a friend, so there's an engraving on there. And this is designed by Azo. He does a lot of designs with Kaiser, and uh, yeah. So, ball bearing pivot, steel clip, steel liner lock, got a little bit of a steel backspacer here. Let's go do some cutting. Hey guys, it's early morning Gideon, <laughs> before I go to work. Let's hope the sun's not too bad. I think I've got this set up so you can see a little something, but today we're doing the cutting for the Kaiser Cozy. Really cool knife. Um, let's get right into it. Kaiser does a lot of things that I really, really like, and I don't review very many Kaisers. And that's because I've had some bad experiences with them in the past, but maybe I need to bury the hatchet. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about that action. This detent is perfect. Like, you cannot fail that. You cannot fail that. Um, great, great action. Stupid, stupid drop shutty. Um, that's not really my go-to action, the Super Drop Shutty, but um, I can appreciate it, and Kaiser has been killing it with action, so if you like that just guillotine drop, Kaiser, Kaiser's doing it. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the Ergos. Super comfortable, as you would expect from a knife called the Cozy. Super comfortable. This knife fits in my hand very, very well. The ergonomic lines are clean, fairly neutral, really, really good. My favorite part of the ergonomics is this jimping. I complain about jimping so much. Look, here's a company that's doing the jimping I like. It goes all the way, like it goes a good long ways down the blade, has a great texture. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. So, excellent, excellent jimping. Good ergonomics all the way around. Um, let's talk about the carry. So let's go ahead and let's tilt down here. Be a little bit sideways, but that's okay. Um, another thing that Kaiser does that I like are their pocket clips. I think they do really, really nice pocket clips, and this one is no exception. Goes in all the way, deep carry clip. The micarta is a little bit grippy, and you can, you know, kind of feel that under the clip, but 
it's not bad. It's not bad at all. In fact, I'd say it's pretty dang good. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and do some cutting. Stay right here so the sun doesn't get in our way too much. 154 cm spear point blade, flat grind, comes down to a nice thin edge. Um, I did notice there is a little bit of a variance in the factory sharpening. They, it's pretty, pretty low angle here, or pretty high angle here. Gets to be a little bit of a lower angle. There's a slight recurve in the blade, but um, 154 cm, I'm sure you'll be able to reprofile it to uh, the way you want it. Whoops. Got caught in the sharp coil. Yeah, I think it slices perfectly well. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you can do um, utility cuts. So that's really, really nice. I dropped some cardboard, grab that. Yeah. No littering. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab our rope. All right, that felt good, felt good. Let's do our pushes. Make sure that's in screen. I am sorry that you guys are like all sideways. Let's see if I can fix that. Maybe. <laughs> oh, ah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that did great actually. Uh, flat grinds are good for this test. They've got a lot of uh, stability behind the edge, so yeah, not too bad. Okay, and now let's grab our pool noodle. This may be the last review for Mr. Blue. We'll see. All right, well, hey. Little pieces flying everywhere. I guess that's what I get for filming in a on an October morning wind. Um, but very nice, thin, very clean. A little bit of a dongle right there here too. That might have been me getting into the sharpening choil, but overall. Really nice. I'm pretty impressed. It's a performer for sure. Let's get back to the table. And we're back. So, let's go ahead and talk about what I'm liking and not liking about this knife. First of all, I think it looks very good. Uh, it's a very clean looking knife. Um, it's a little generic, and honestly, it looks like a lot of... Th this looks pretty much identical to the Kaiser Assassin, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, it's a good looking knife. Uh, I love this, this green micarta and the spear point blade is, is really cool. So yeah, there we go. I like the way it looks. Uh, next thing, this blade is really nice. 154 CM is a great steel. Kaiser does a really good job with it. The satin finish on this blade is very, very nice. Um, you see here it's Fairly thin. It's got a almost full flat grind. Nice and thin behind the edge. Uh, so yeah, good blade. Performs really, really well. This sharpening choil is excellent. Uh, other companies take note. That is how you do a sharpening choil. Right there. Really, really nice. Love to see that. Um, next thing. I like the, the, the ergonomics uh, and the handle in general. Uh, this micarta is really, really nice. Kaiser uses probably the best micarta in the game. Um, but yeah, really nice micarta. It's got really good grippy feel. I could tell this is going to break in really well. Um, just in a little bit, I've had it. You can see the oils in my hand start to darken it up right here. A little bit right there. So yeah, as this knife is carried and used and loved, it will, it will start to look just amazing. Um, but yeah, good texture on the micarta, and uh, 
it feels very, very solid. Sometimes my card can feel a little bit, um, a little bit cheapish, a little bit hollowy. Like this, my carta is not really my favorite. Can you hear that? And then this, my carta still feels like, like it, 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 it still got its. It still feels like a fabric. It's nice and soft, but you know, also still rigid and solid feeling, and still has texture. It's just really good, my carta. That, that's the, that, that's the takeaway here. Really good, my carta. So I appreciate that. As for the ergonomics themselves. I mean, you could probably tell just by looking at this knife that it's going to fit in your hand really well. When I first saw pictures of this knife, I was like, oh yeah, that, that's going to be an ergonomic dream. And it is. It feels really good in my hand. There's not really any soft spots. You could do hard cuts for a long time with this. Uh, yeah. You know, ergonomics are so important to your knife because if, if it hurts your hand to use it, you're not going to want to use it. You could have the most amazing blade on the planet splitting atoms in half and destroying the world and whatnot but if that handle's not comfortable the knife is pretty much useless so yeah this is great got a good grip there excellent i like this little backspacer here love backspacers um whoops balance of the knife is what i would consider to be pretty dang good um, and I think, you know, that little backspacer adds to that. Just looks classy. This whole knife just looks classy and, yeah. Uh, the pocket clip is reversible, which is awesome. Lefty's your choice. And it's also a good clip. Flat screws, the clip itself is not recessed, but in, that, but in this case, I don't think it really needs to be. It works in and out of the pocket just fine. It's nice and long. It's fat in the hand. It, I don't even feel it. I don't know what's there. And that's the best thing you can you can hope for with your pocket clip. Um, we have internal stop, or these external stop pins. Let me see here. Yeah, the stop pins are attached to the blade, so these are external stop pins. I have a whole video about that. I know, I know. Some people are going to be like, those are internal stop pins. Well, no, they're not. If they're attached to the blade, they're external stop pins. Whether you see them out here or whether they're just you know running on track in there, those are external stop pins. Internal stop pins is a stop pin that's fixed in place and the blade moves around it. Um, and then of course your standard stop pin is fixed in place and the blade just connects with it and then like that. Um, I've got a video on that. I'll link it up here. Detent or not deep <laughs> stop pin terminology, not detent. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Gives a little bit of added stability. You can see that we are milled out on the inside there. That adds to the balance. And this knife's not very heavy at all, but still feels solid. Access to the lock bar is fantastic. I mean, look at that. You are not going to struggle to get to that lock bar at all. That is, that's pretty great. I like to see that. Um, going back to the ergonomics, I talked about this in the cutting footage. I'm going to talk about it again. Kaiser, thank you. Bless your hearts, you're giving us the jimping we need. I complain about jimping all the time. I feel like a lot of knives do not have proper jimping. I think some companies are like, well, we'll just put a little a couple little notches up here and woohoo, jimping. And they don't really think about well, the texture needed, or the distance needed. Like this baby banter, for example. The jimping here has got a good texture, but when I'm holding this knife, my thumb naturally lands right here. The, the jimping doesn't go that far. I, I mean, I could hold the knife like this, but what am I going to do with puncturing tasks, I guess? If I'm going to be doing some cutting, I want jimping up here. Uh, CGRB Caldera. Love this knife, but the jimping is pretty much useless. The texture is not great. It's located in, in a good spot. You know, I can, my thumb naturally rests there. That's awesome. You know, I've got this little groove here too. But the texture's not good. And so it feels like to me, no knife really gets the right balance, except Kaiser. I love seeing this. I love seeing this. We've got jimping for days. The texture is really nice. It'll grab you back. It's very fine. And 
Like it's super grippy, but it's not painful. And when I grab this knife, I mean, look, my thumb naturally lands where there's jimping. If I had bigger hands, my thumb might land up here. They're still jimping. It's just, it, this is what jimping is supposed to be like. I love seeing that. I cannot stress that enough. That's probably one of my, my, my favorite takeaways from this knife. And that's something that I've noticed Kaiser doing a lot of recently is they've been paying attention to jimping. Thank you, Kaiser. Thank you. I know I haven't reviewed a whole lot of your knives, but thank you. So yeah, definitely appreciate the jimping. All right, now let's talk about the elephant in the room. You guys have been wait, waiting for me to talk about it. Let's talk about that action. Uh, jumping on flipper tab is also done very, very well. We've got like two little jumps up there and then one right there. And surprisingly, that works. That does work. I can, like, I can feel that. Let's give it a flip. Yeah, absolute guillotine, perfectly centered, no blade play. Kaiser has got their actions nailed. And I'm not big, the biggest fan of guillotine action, but this is not quite guillotine. It's almost guillotine. I like it. I do like it. Um, I've gotten used to it a little bit, and yeah, it's it's excellent action. Absolutely excellent. I cannot fail this knife. Let's try. Oh, the suspense. It's killing me. <laughs> no, I can't fail it. The detent is perfect. Flipper only knife, but dang it, if your detent is this good, that's all you need. That's all you need. You know, people like to fidget with stuff. You know, you like to have your multiple deployment options. I'm a big fan of multiple deployment options. But when the detent is dialed this perfectly, oh, that is so satisfying. I mean, you really need nothing else. You, you need nothing else. This is one of those knives where, you know, I think all of us have gotten, you know, if you're a knife person, you pick up a flipper knife and you know how to flip it. You know, you pick up a flipper knife, you know how to flip it. I've had this VV Elementum to my dad, and he'll pick it up, he'll go like, okay, well, whoops, I messed up there. My, my Elementum's broken real good. But he'll, uh, you know, he'll just kind of fart it out like that, and then, you know, wrist flick it the rest of the way. And it's always kind of frustrating to see that, you know, you hand an, a, a knife that otherwise has a, a good flipping action to someone who's not a knife person, and they fail the flip, and they're like, oh, that's not very fun, and then they wrist flick it out. Yeah, that's always a little bit disheartening. This knife, not even, I, I, I bet someone that has no fingers could flip this knife. I mean, maybe that's, okay, that, 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 that's a little bit too far, but you know what I mean. Like, you, you cannot fail this knife. It is unfailable, and that's, that's really awesome. So, there's what, oh, another thing I like, minimal hardware. I mean, look, you've got the pivot, and you have this uh, screw back here, and I think it's a T6. Yeah, but, I mean, honestly, minimal hardware, I like to see that. Uh, the build quality on this knife feels very good. Um, and the last thing I'm going to mention in terms of likes is I think this is just a stellar EDC. It's got, it, I mean, it's the right size, right shape, right materials, right price point. I think this is a knife that you could give anyone and they'll enjoy it for the rest of their lives. It's just a really good EDC knife. This 3.3 inch blade, that's perfect EDC size. Um, you know, the, the ergonomics, I think this will work for people with a wide variety of hand sizes. They're very comfortable. Micarta, I mean, people love Micarta. 154 cm, it's easy to sharpen. It holds a good edge. It's pretty stainless. It's fairly tough. This is a, I think 154 cm is a great beginner steel, user steel. I love 154 cm and I, it's a great steel to give someone who maybe, you know, isn't a knife person. Overall, this knife is just, it it does a lot right. It does a lot right as an EDC knife. And uh, yeah, that's really, really good to see. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get into some of my complaints. And the first one is, listen to this. You hear that squeak? It's like a little squeak and then you can hear a little bit of a click sometimes. This knife had pretty substantial lock stick and it's breaking in now. It's got a little bit of that, it's got that squeak now, which I'm not a big fan of. And when I first heard, I mean, when I, when I first experienced that lock stick, I was like, oh no, because I've had bad issues with Kaiser in the past. I know I'm always talking about, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to tell the story of my Kaiser Jungus and what happened with that. Do I even, do I have that knife close by? I don't think I do. But you, you guys have probably seen me bring it out on the channel before. Kaiser Jungus, I had that knife. The Bowie Blade. Horrible, horrible lock stick. And then one day I, horrible lock stick and early lock up. This knife has early lockup, but not quite as early as my Jungus did, which is good. And I one day, that lock just wouldn't move. I shoved it over as hard as I could, and then the knife just stopped locking up. It just wouldn't lock up anymore. You flip it, and then just, you could just, like, a, it was like a double detent knife. And that really soured me on Kaiser. And I think that's one of the reasons I haven't reviewed a whole lot of Kaisers is because they're kind of expensive for budget knives. They're kind of high-end budget knives, and I just didn't want to get burned again. And then, of course, my experience with the Kaiser Big Ladder XL, that was, watch that review, but, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I thought that lockstick was gonna be an issue, and maybe it will be an issue in the past, in the future. Right now, the knife is working perfectly. No complaints, um, but yeah, that little squeak is a little bit annoying, and I, I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay now, but yeah. Uh, next thing, this little, the, the lock bar is a little bit, like it's easy to get to, but it's like a little bit smooth and sharp at the same time, and so, I mean, you can see how narrow it is, and they didn't do any jimping on it, they didn't do any scalloping on it, and so it can be a little bit of a... Like, if you're just sitting here fidgeting with this knife, which, with this kind of action, you're going to want to. Uh, I, yeah, you do notice it, like, taking a toll on your thumb after a while. You see the little divot in my thumb. Is it a huge deal? No, but I thought I'd mention it, right? Next thing, I, I don't really understand this lanyard hole. It seems very tiny to me, and... I, I, just, I don't know, I just, I'm not someone that uses lanyards a whole lot, but I have used lanyards in the past, and I don't know, this just seems like a really odd place for a lanyard, it's going to be rubbing on your pocket clip, it's a very tiny hole, I think the knife could have done without it, you know, whatever. And honestly, that's about it for complaints. Let's talk about the price. So these knives come in about 70 bucks. Kaiser is kind of pricey for budget knives. Um, I, when I bought, uh, I think one of their cheaper budget knives is the Big Lighter. These go for like 55 bucks. I think this one was actually 65. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit pricey. Um, they're not like doing what Civivi's doing yet, and you know, like, although maybe, I guess technically they are, like, is the Kaiser October and Micarta part of the, I mean, even if it is, it's using more premium materials, which justifies a higher price tag, you know, they're not just, anyways, they're a little bit expensive, <coughs> excuse me, got a hair in my throat, or something, they're a little expensive, uh, Do I think this knife is justified with that price? I actually do. Um, would I like to see it a little bit cheaper? Yes, absolutely. But um, it does feel a little more premium than 
something like, uh, well, heck, it does feel a little more premium than the, the Caldera, which again, I love that knife, but this one does feel more premium. The micarta is excellent. Uh, fit and finish is really, really nice. So, for me, a lot of times I look at a Kaiser, I'm like, ooh, I'd like to check that out, but the price kind of, I'm kind of like, that's a little expensive for a budget knife. But, you know, after handling this one, I can't say it's uh, unearned. And honestly, if this is just like, if this, if you're, this is going to be your one EDC knife for the rest of your life, yeah, 70 bucks, that's nothing. I mean, it's obviously something, but, you know, if you're going to carry this and use it and enjoy it, 70 bucks is really nice because you're getting a lot of good fit and finish. You're getting a lot of quality, a lot of performance. And if something happens to the knife, it's not quite a kick in the nuts to replace it. Um, so yeah, I guess this is a long way of me saying Kaiser knives do seem a little bit expensive when you're just looking at them online. Uh, but I, I do think that they, they do justify a lot of that price once you have it in hand and you start to use it. And as long as nothing goes wrong with your lock, um, yeah, I think they're absolutely absolutely acceptable so there we go final conclusions i like this knife i really do i think this is one of the better edc knives out there yeah it might be a little bit plain it might be a little bit derivative but i mean it works it really works and i think it's a great little knife good size good build good ergos good blade uh, i think i think this knife is absolutely a winner so, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.